Hello everybody, it's Magpie Ludum again. Uh, welcome again. Well, I'll, I'll start that again. This is Magpie Ludum. Uh, welcome to another episode, love a stream of uh, Before the Storm. Um, last time, we've got a lot to go through since last time. We completed another episode. Yay! And now we're on another one. Yay! But um, last time, what happened? Um, in the previous episode before, Chloe in the play, it tried to get rid of Durgeron, but evidently in the episode that was previous and thus last, the one we just done, uh, she hasn't got rid of Durgeron, of course she kept talking about him still. Um, Rachel was still now and again sort of hinting that she was the Queen of Farts, uh, really just to, you know, sort of help Chloe and just, because, you know, Chloe is mentally disabled in my playthrough. And um, we actually found out that um, Rachel was called Rachel because her dad, who sounds like Goofy, <laughs> and her mum, who kind of sounds like me, um, they both have DeviantArt accounts, and Rachel's dad is an inflation artist, and Rachel's mum is into anal vor. So they both for their, so they both mount DeviantArt because of that. They both have really fucked up uh, fantasies and fucking kinks and fetishes, as it fetishes is what I'm looking for. And then um, because of their fucked up fetishes, they went together, like, it sort of grew together, in a way, on DeviantArt. And they created an OC. Um, with, like, a child of the Analvor and the Inflation OCs they had, and they called the OC Rachel, and they named Rachel after the OC, hoping to be a personification of the OC they made. And that is why Rachel got so annoyed, because her dad is, well, the DA, the DeviantArt, um, master and her mum is also a member of Demon Art. So yeah, there's so many conflicting things. No, right, that you know, Rachel has to come to terms with the fact that she is part inflation and part anal vor OC, and Chloe has to overcome the fact that Durgeron will never leave her. Dude, my fucking streams are getting a story going on, man. Seriously, fuck, I'm I'm fucking up there, dude. I'm up there with fucking Tolkien and Stephen King and fucking Jane Austen. I'm sign me up for the next fucking book, dude. Give me a book deal. This is improv. <laughs> this is fucking good. Let's get on. They're in the hospital. What are they in the hospital for? Are they talking about Durgeron? Are they talking about... Oh, wait. I just want to see if he thinks it's on so it's really warm. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Okay, we're good, guys. Guys, the heating is now off. The heating is off, guys. We're good. Okay. Are you sure you're not, like, too pissed off about this? No, honestly, I just want the whole time on his hand. Chloe, talk about the overround, please. It's the most normality I get in this house. No, honestly, annual foreign inflation isn't that bad of a trait to having a daughter. You know, we, we, we want you to grow to be a hybrid of us so you can draw inflation and anal vor. That's what we hope, Rachel. Why don't you want to do that? Uh, yeah. uh, I think they want us to see something. Everything. We want you to see that this is your life now, Rachel. We want you to know that we're always behind you. Uh, yeah. And don't go hooking with Rachel. I mean, Chloe. Look through the viewfinder and look at my drawings. You will see. No, Rachel, don't. Durgeron will be mad. I didn't care about Durgeron for a minute, Chloe. I have to fulfill my destiny by looking through here. Come join me. I'm gonna fucking try to persuade you to look in the side of Durgeron. <laughs> Chloe, please, try to do that. I, I don't want to see my parents' artwork with inflation and anal vor. It is disgusting. I think they drew an inflated spire of the dragon, giving birth to fucking who's uh, Morgana from Persona Five, and this is disgusting. And they're eating, they're they're Chloe, they're they're eating creatures with their ass. It is disgusting. You have to look at this. Oh, oh God, okay. Durgaran, protect me. Durgaran protects us both now, Chloe. I believe in him. Oh God. Oh god, it's awful! Dude, oh god, uh, Durgeron. 
<laughs> Let's start looking for an anus. <laughs> now, honestly, dude, the out the, the the fucking outline of that light it, it looked the the viewfinder thing looks like a butt. It's <laughs> like so looking for a fucking goat seat. That is the where we're seeing right now. The light where that character is. This fucking bit in the middle that's moving. This is the anus, and if you keep it still, that is literally the fucking butt cheeks. That is absolutely fucking gross. We're not gonna go see. This is the anal vor. This is anal vor. I was right. I was fucking right. This is anal vor. This is disgusting. The anal shit is eating us. This is Chloe's. This is Rachel's mum's side. When I was in high school, there was and I met this one person who had a really nice ass. And I talked to her, and I, hey, how you doing? And she said, wait, you sound like a serious goofy. Are you ever, oh, and I was like, oh, yuck, of <laughs> course, I didn't know that. She's like, are you really into Anilvor? I have a character called Chul, and she's into eating people for ass. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm into inflation. I got a character called Rach, and he's into, like, inflation. And this is how it starts, guys. Suddenly, we decided to get together. Oh, this death metal song is the best. I know I love death metal. Oh, I farted. Oh, wouldn't it be great if, like, we fucking had a character together? Like, my OC and your OC together and have a character? What are we gonna call it? My character was called Rach and yours is called Chill. Troll? What are we gonna go have a troll rage? Uh, troll rage is so good. Yo, it's my best growl. Oh, I love, I love death metal. And then we decided to have you. Well, what a beautiful boy. It's actually a girl. Oh, I didn't notice. I thought she was a dude. Cause the umbil oh, is the umbilical cord? I thought she had a 13-inch dick. Why would you compliment our baby and having such a big dick? That's disgusting. Uh, she will be the best anal forest. No, the best inflationist. She has both our traits now. I'm trying to talk like Goofy, but it kind of didn't work. Now I kind of sound like someone else. I know. You trailed off. Obviously, you haven't seen any Goofy cartoons in quite a few years, so you forgot what he sounded like. You're going by memory. Oh, gosh, I think I am. And then there was you. Is that Rachel? However much you that isn't her. And uh, no matter how much I loved inflation, there was someone else in the equation who I didn't quite suspect. It was a foot fetishist. I love sweaty feet. Uh, I have to get this injection to make my feet sweat more. So my daughter can have sweaty feet just like me and farts. Sweaty feet and flatulence, that's my fetish. Uh, uh, inflation and anal vor disgusting, but fuck. She farted inflation and anal vor disgusting and sweaty feet and farts were the way to go. And as you can see, her farts knocked her out and her sweaty feet. Oh god, it's so bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and she died. She died, Rachel, but I bought her back. As you can see, I'm touching her face. <laughs> and I touched her shoulder and then her face again. Oh, God, someone please help. I'm an anal... It's okay, I'm an inflationist. Is somebody, somebody got a pump? Oh, shit, there's a pump. I tried to find a pump to stick up her ass to blow her up so she'd be better again. But instead, I found a baby. And that was you. And I thought, wow, you're... Stepmom called you Chul, and I said Rach, so Rachel it was. And I actually didn't know your stepmom, and I uh, actually did, but I, I thought I'd call you Rachel, so you be hidden from your uh, real mom. So yeah, you're the birth child of a fucking fart foot fetishist and inflationist and <laughs> fucking anal forest. Wow, such lineage. Rachel, your family is fucked up. But your mother didn't know that I secretly loved farts and feet. So that's why I saw her again. Uh, sorry. 
And so I kissed her under this tree like you saw, and she touched my tits. And I was like, no, I got any tits. Stop touching me there. And I thought, I, if I stick a pipe in your ass and blow it up, you look really pretty. And she was like, no, that's ridiculous. I was going to say retarded, but I said we did. And that's not a word. I, I know it's not a word, but if you just stop smelling your own feet. No, I... The thing is, uh, my smelly feet and my farts and your inflation, we can be together. And we can raise a daughter, like we did before. Because that dot, like, baby's mine. I know it's yours, but the thing is, smelly feet and farts aren't as accepted in TV and art as anal vor, apparently. So, we're gonna just part ways now. Bye. Oh, God. And she squandered it. And she forgot to put the mature filter on. Oh, why didn't I put on the mature filter so I knew? Oh, God. As if she only knew that if you got the mature filter off and go past page one of any of your favorite characters in DeviantArt, you get the most fucked up shit imaginable and it ruins him for you for life. Honestly, don't fucking do that. Speaking from me, Mac, but I've been a member of the email for like 16 fucking years. And it's 16 fucking years too long. Well, Rachel, that's why you were born. Oh, God, that... I, I just want to kill myself. Honestly, that's so... I know you're shocked now, Rachel, but in time you'll understand that this is the reason why you were born. And I love your mother, or you, whoever this woman is. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I, I do not know what to say. Well, your stepmom here is an anal vorist. Can you please stop saying that? That is disgusting. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Mm, gorge. Mm, 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 mm. You think you have Where does Durgaron fit into this? Oh, for God's sake. Durgaron does not exist in our world, Chloe. I'm sorry, but that's your character, not ours. Durgaron is made up by you. That game you played with Mikey and Steph is not real. Oh, but please, Chloe has to believe in something. I. No, I'm sorry, Rachel, but Durgaron is made up. The real thing is you. You are the birth of me and your mother. I think I so that's why I was the queen of farts in the play. <laughs> because my mother was the queen of feet and farts. Gorsh. Gorsh indeed. Okay, this is awkward. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing my uh, Mark Gormley power stance. I am gonna. Rachel and Chloe, where are you guys? We're at the Tempest cast party. I only texted Rachel like eight times. I cannot tell the difference between Dana and Juliet, man, seriously. Hey, hey, I don't think we're making it. Chloe, you should come. <coughs> yeah, Chloe, you're awesome, babe. Talking about Dodoron. Hey, Chloe, great job tonight. Thanks, I can. But you really saved us. Without you, there have been, there would have been a no-show. Seriously, just come. <coughs> Bring Rachel. Sorry, guys. Sorry, but Dodoron and Rachel's past is... Up with her. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. <clears throat> Can I have your DeviantArt? <sighs> and this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. That is such a weird way to spell Sarah. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea. Why would you spell why would you call your daughter Sarah and spell it like that if you do not intend for her to be a drug addict? I don't want That is the most surefire way, like set like calling your daughter Cindy or Stacy spelt in the I with an I as a last letter and not intending for them to be a fucking stripper. Names make people. I mean my name is Magpie. And, you know, I'm destined to play fucking games and be cringe. And do art really well. Or pretty good. 
I don't blow me on trumpet. <laughs> Shouldn't that be up to Rachel? Shouldn't... Oh god, I'm afraid Sarah would do... Uh... <laughs> what about... What would Durgeron do? I... I don't understand. I... I don't Are you understand. Are right, you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? Right, 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 right. I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm. <clears throat> Well, we're not going to have fucking dinner on the table anymore. Thanks, Rachel. Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? So, guys, it's episode nine. Um, or part nine in my stream where the story really picks up. Put my daughters this is where my head cannon picks up. <laughs> Maybe try the truth for a change. What do you mean? Well, you I mean, if Dargaron would. Oh, for fuck's sake, Chloe, stop talking about fucking Dargaron. I swear to God, there's only inflation and foot fetish and farts and fucking anal lore allowed in this house, not Dargaron. No amount of Dargaron could save you. Or I'll do what I can. I, I, I have to believe in Dargaron after her nap. You know? Oh my God, this is so Thank disgusting. You. I farted. I know. Gorge. Oh, uh, this is awkward. Excuse me, uh, just, you two have a guest. Uh, be hosts here. I know you've had like a really awkward family moment, but if you could like just offer me a seat and a drink or something, you know. Stop being so fucking rude, guys. You know I'm. I would leave, but you know I I don't. I feel I shouldn't. Hey, Mrs. Amber. How can someone choose inflation and smelly farts and feet over anal vor? Okay. Oh, I'm, okay, I'm gonna go. No, please, Chloe, stay. Do you need uh, to remind me to tell you about Dergeron and how he saves lives yes. and shit? No, Chloe, I'm, I'm fine. Could you just get the, the noose room. for me so I can oh, hang myself? Right. Because nobody in this house apparently loves anal vor. It's okay, I sympathize. There we go. I fired it. That, this broom is for the nation. Hey. Cool graphic. <coughs> Rachel was really getting rid of this. Yeah, why don't you fucking nick it? Oh, don't mind if I know. Mrs. Amber? Could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. I mean, I'm not gonna wear it, but, you know. Toilet paper is kind of short at a minute because people are being fucking retarded during this coronavirus thing, so... I gotta wipe my ass on something. Pretty hard. Seriously, people are coming down a lot now. There's more toilet paper on the shelves. I still don't understand the, the, the people's fucking mentality that... Why? 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 Why toilet roll? Hard to argue that Rachel would have had a better life with Sarah. But does that make what James did right? Yeah. Wait, I should give this broom to Rachel's mom. So she can anal vor it. Thank you, Chloe. I'll imagine this is Mario, and I will stick it in my bum, and anal vor him, Thank and the Mushroom Kingdom go. with it. Thank you. The Mush Broom Kingdom. I'm really quite glad that you're here. 
Me too. So I can tell you about Dogeron. Well, oh god, stop talking about fucking Dog. The thing is, though, Dogeron, since you came in this house and mentioned him, we are now believe in him because Dogeron is actually the right answer. He is the right answer, Cole, you're right. Dogeron is all of us, and he is me, and I now love him. Wow, well, boy, I just converted someone into the religion of Dogeron. Sweet. Not only I believe in him now, but someone else. Mm-hmm, I believe in him too. I can read your thoughts. Oh wait, I'm thinking this too, because I'm not opening my mouth. Well, wow, we're telepathic. Wow, that's so hella amazing. We're both in the dark around, and we can both talk about him in our minds. It's so super weird. I guess I'm... I guess I better go talk to Rachel and try and convert her to Durgeronism, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I, I hope that Anilvor thing is... Oh, yeah, Anilvor is still part of me. And I still put pictures in DeviantArt of Anilvor. But, you know, Rachel is more important, apparently. So we have to, like, listen to her. And, yeah, hopefully she comes to terms that she is not the daughter of an inflationist and Anilvoris, but the daughter of an inflationist and a foot... Fart fetishist. James lied. I thought that he was a good inflationist, but he apparently he's just full of hot air. <laughs> he is he is full of hot air, Chloe. You're right. And that's actually a pretty funny joke called well up. Um But he is the father to Rachel. But not the father to me. Which makes no sense because he's not my dad. Oh, wh why do you? Uh, why? I, I don't understand. Dogeron. Dogeron, yes. But I, I didn't know what he said there. Go up to Rachel and help her out because she has to come to terms with who she truly is. She thought she was an anal forest, but she's actually a foot fart fetishist. Okay, this family is fucking weird, but I'm gonna see if. I know we're weird, Chloe. But that's why I've, I've accepted Durban into my life. So I can hopefully look at things from a different angle. I, it makes sense, I guess. It does make sense. My mind is perfectly clear now because I have Durgaron. Like you said, Durgaron knows all. You have started a religion, Chloe. And I am your first disciple. What are you going to do with me? I'm going to be over here. Thanks. I'm what? Thank you. I'm gonna be exposing myself over here. Are you gonna see that broom? What are you gonna do with that broom and me, Chloe? Oh, I'm exposing my anal vor but I'm gonna I'm gonna go. This is this is weird. Chloe, you can't escape. Dark Dark Around doesn't like that. Does not compute. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Every single photo looks like a fucking ass. This girl's Rachel's mum is a fucking... Was it anal forest? This is a slice and song. Rachel is so sad that her mom and dad are freaks. Her mom is an anal forest and her dad is an inflationist. But it turns out her real mom isn't into that shit. She likes feet and farts. And she has masks on her wall. I hope I'm not singing too less often so this song overrides the stream so I get banned. I'm holding this mic right up to me, to my mouth. So Chloe's standing there and Rachel's really sad. Hell is empty. Life is strange before the storm screen. It's welcome to Magpie Ludum's stream again. Rachel is sad. Is it still playing? It's still black. Okay, does she have a radio? If she has a radio, I'm just opening the feet on this microphone. If she has a radio, is there a way I can turn it off? Because I do not want to get banned from Twitch. Just, 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 just. They're playing it really, really cool. I'm going to talk a lot anyway, so who cares? Um, all right. <laughs> Be here for Rachel. Thank you, hand. All right. Um, maybe if I look at that shit. Well, it's obviously made of cotton and not fucking, um, linen, because linen will not show a light. Mm. Actually, by the looks of that, neither will cotton. It's got a lampshade and you've got a shirt thrown over it. That'd be really fucking dark. That is not a real flannel. That's plastic. Um, I can turn this on. 
This light needs more light. Hmm, maybe I should finger her. Maybe that will help. I what I could find around here. Or even better, Rachel, have you heard of Durgeron? I just convinced your kind of mom, and she's into Durgeron too. And like, you know, Durgeron may be bad, but like, you know, at, at, at least, at least he's not an anal varst or like a fucking inflationist or a fart fetish. Yes, Chloe, please, I'm trying to. Yeah, but I just, I convinced your mom and I can't imagine I'm on the other side of your bed now. He gives me teleportation powers. What? Don't you see, Rachel? Durgeron is the way. He's the right answer to everything. I realize that now. Oh my god! Hey, Rachel. I'm glad you're here. Hey, you. Of course. Standing on your own, standing naked by the phone. Can you feel me? Hey, you. I don't know if I'm playing this for. I mean, I'm, I'm in Rachel's room, so I'm guessing um, that's a save. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I thought I'm playing for a lot of half hour and coming off. Oh, nearly okay. Now four minutes. All right. Well, I guess I'll play them another four minutes then. Uh, broadcast settings. That's one play the other games and drink. And get drunk. And get drunk and drunker and drunker. Hmm. Chloe, maybe if I look at this globe here, we can point out all the countries that support Durgeron. Uh, all the ones I can convince. That's actually a really cool globe. It's got the earth in the middle and all the, uh, con all the, um, I was gonna say constants. Yeah, they're all, yeah, all constants. Yeah, they're constants. All constants. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Now, if Heather was here, she'd hate Romeo and Juliet. I think she likes. She likes one or two. Um. Ah, oh, fuck. It's a saying from one of the plays. I think it was Life is a Stage. And I'll forget what the rest of it is. <laughs> but I'm going to have to read up more of it because I haven't played Silent Hill 3 in quite a while and I'm going to have to read up my lore. But yeah, um, I'm going to have a part in my comic where Heather. where there's going to be a play, a Shakespearean play. One that Heather actually likes, and Heather is going to quote something from Shakespeare and she's going to win the heart of. Um, the director of, I forgot, it's Mr. Keaton. And Rachel's gonna be super fucking jelly, but she's gonna get really triggered. And I'm gonna do a whole page where I triggered Rachel is because Heather is so much better at Shakespeare than she is. Dude, them sunglasses, I thought that was a fucking, like, a sex toy. Hmm. I wonder what. One of these signs is, don't, if, uh, Chloe, if you're going to say fucking Durgeron, I swear to God, I'm going to ask you to leave, and I'm going to call the police, and tell them that you are molesting me, and puppies. Okay, but I wonder if Ergodon, eh, fuck you bitch, Ergodon, is on this calendar here. It sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. Well, she is cancerous. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. There's still a lot of room on that board. The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. Ah, you got it wrong, you dumb bitch. <laughs> we were so close to making our break last night. Now... I don't know. Oh, uh, you've known her for like six hours, who fucking cares? Honestly, mate, I thought that post today was, um, Hate Breeder from Children of Odin. <laughs> That's like one of their best albums. What's my favourite album, anyway? Downfall is their best song. Then on that album. Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. 
Do me a sock, Katie. What's the real deal with the fight north of town? When is it going to come down here and incinerate us in this furry hug of death? Asking for a friend of bros. Bros before bronies? Oh my god, no. 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 Oh my god, bronies are a thing in this world. No. No, 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 no. Fucking all my, all of my no. Oh my god. Oh, I just gotta go over the scene now. Bronies are a thing in this fucking universe. Okay. I'm gonna have to make bronies a thing in the hell of hell, dude. Shit. Oh my god. Fuck me. Bomb me. Uh, first, never forget. Fing oh god, first King Wells. No, King Wells. Didn't start the fight the day after Firewalk was here. Hmm, <laughs> North Coaster. Is a strange one. Friends, A, B, F, D. Sources say we'd never see anything like it. No idea where it came from, but no idea lasts this long. Told mystery. Time to put on your tinfoil hats and start speculating, Miss Arcadia. There's a dragon with matches. Is loose in the town. Dead fan. Prescott's like 50% serious, Lady F3. Only 50 Prescott's the serious shit. You really put it past them? They probably have some incriminating evidence to burn, better yet, bodies. Not to mention the chemtrails that drop all over the town, highly flammable, nothing for whatever. Uh, nothing for whatever. Why? But why man models? We're all built in Indian burial ground, have you not? King Wells. Native American people burial ground, when we're not, blah, 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 blah. Burn, get it, guy, faggot. I mean, forget. Sorry. <laughs> Legal eyes are again moving. How uh, to get involved? Blackwell tuition spike on coming. Oh my god, not only Durgeron, fucking anal vor, and fart foot fetishes, and inflation is part as well. Also, bronies. Oh no! Where's my cooch, by the way? Guys, I think it's been half an hour. I'm gonna come off now because I'm being too silly, and hopefully it starts off, um. I'm just going to get Mopey Rachel in the background. There we go. Um, yep, hopefully it starts off in Rachel's room, which is really Mopey, as you can see. Well, you can look at that high powder emergency, emergency flashlight next by Fruit Uh This has been Magpie Luda, my thing, everybody, for watching me on YouTube. Um, if you have, I'm going to stop it now. I'm guessing it's gone half an hour. It has. Okay, good, guys. Thank you again. It's been good, it's been great, it's been fun, and I'll be on this again either tomorrow, maybe not, or next Saturday, more more than likely. So I uh, thank you all for watching me. Uh, take care. Also, a massive, massive, massive shout out to Captain... I do not want to get his name wrong, Captain Tom. He has raised over £20 million for the NHS, walking in his back garden. He is 99 years old. He has done 100 laps in his back garden. And now he's got a single out, God bless him. He's a World War II veteran. Old man, his birthday is on the 30th of April. Please celebrate his fucking... If you're not gonna watch me, just at least celebrate his fucking birthday, please. If you're not gonna just... Even if you're not gonna like a video, just watch till the end. Just please, 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 just do something to celebrate his 100th birthday. He has done so much. He has raised twenty-two million pounds in a week for our NHS during this fucking Chinese virus. So please, please, all the fucking support to him. Honestly, he is an amazing, amazing man. God bless him. And I hope he lives to way past a hundred. <laughs> so yeah, uh, guys, again, thank you all for watching. Um, this is Magpie Ludo. It's been great. It's been fun. 